So hello friends, today we are going to discuss about what does it take for any business uh, to become successful, okay? Any business you start, uh, you know, you will go through a, a phase where you will be rejected, that you will face, you feel like you are, these are failures because the statistics, any country you go, the statistics shows that 90% of the businesses fail during the first 10 years in their businesses. So that means if you start a business tomorrow, there is a good chance that you will fail. So why do they fail? Okay, what does that uh, definition of failure is? And should you just give up your entrepreneurship journey um, looking at the statistics and okay, I may fail, okay? So what does uh, th that mean to you? Let me just share my screen so that we understand that what happens, what is a failure, okay? Now, <clears throat> if you see, what people or companies or entrepreneurs they lack is a persistency and consistency, okay? So that means uh, quitting, okay? Instead of continuing if you quit, so that is where you can call yourself a failure, okay? So that means until you are in the game, okay? And you are learning from your failures and you are improving on your learnings, based on your learnings, you are improving your product or services, okay? You can never ever fail. So that means what is failure? Failure is when you stop what you have you started that you can call yourself a failure, okay? But as long as you are in the uh, learning curve, you are learning from your mistakes, okay? This learning is the biggest lessons, okay? A lot of people are not willing, okay, to take, okay? Because growing up, you will always see your parents, our parents have taught what? Okay, failure is bad, okay? Exam, if you fail in the exam is bad, okay? So failure in our mind is uh, bad. And that is the reason why when we go, uh, go out and uh, start a business, which is based on the principles of failure, okay? And then we feel like, okay, I'm a failure, okay? So what is you, uh, what exactly means failure is that you keep on keeping on until you succeed, then you cannot fail. Now, now, when you say keep on keeping on until you succeed, what does that mean? So that means if you see, this is an example, uh, you know, um, of a rock, you know, that is, there are holes in the rock, if you see. So how does the holes, you know, such big holes in uh, so hard rock, you know, it gets formed? With water. Well, how is that possible? Well, drops of water, okay, uh, dropping on that surface for over years together, okay, or decades or centuries together, that make a hole in the uh, in the rock, okay. So if you read a book called The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy, you will understand. You learn about the consistency, how the uh, good things and the bad things, or whatever you do. So if uh, you know you want to cut down weight or you are overweight, okay, or if you want to be successful in your business or anything you do you, it is always, it's compounded. It doesn't matter how, what you do in one day. It always matters what you do every day, okay? So that is what, you know, it impacts your, um, you know, future, okay? So that's a very good book to read, okay? So now let's talk about some of the entrepreneurs here, okay? Thomas Alva Edition, because of uh, who we have electricity, uh, we don't have electricity, but we have lights everywhere, okay? He is the man who invented light bulb, okay? Now, <clears throat> so he has, you know, one interviewer asked him, Mr. Edition, you have been through a, how many experiments? He said, 10,000 experiments I have done. Okay, and what is that you are after? You know, he says that, uh, you know, I am after this uh, bulb, you know, I, I, uh, I know that, you know, um, uh, illuminate so I can I can pass electricity through through a wire and uh, you know this wire is inside uh, you know certain gas uh, uh, you know it can it can emit light okay now the journalist uh, you know the reporter asked ten thousand experiments Mr Edison and uh, don't you think that ten thousand failures uh, after ten thousand failures you think that you'll be able to uh, you know, invent this thing called, you call it light. 
He said, no, it's not 10,000 failures. It is 10,000 learnings I went through. I learned 10,000 different ways, different materials I used, different gases I used, different temperature I used in my experiments to find out where it will not work, 10,000 different ways it did not work. But eventually I will find the way in which it will work because I will be exhausted. I would be already, uh, have already been exhausted with all um, other, um, these 10,000 different uh, options. I will have finally that options which will work. So guys, just imagine he could have been a failure or we could call himself a failure after 10 experiments, after 1000 experiments, probably he would have said, well, I am a failure, this thing doesn't work. So what he did, he went through those 10,000 experiments and you learned, as long as you are learning and you are in the game, you haven't failed, okay? So that is extremely important. What is the definition of failure? Because for a lot of people, what is a failure for, people who are successful, that is the learning, failure versus learning, okay, whatever you learn, okay. So, Soichiro Honda, okay, he is the founder of Honda Motor, okay, and I think uh, during the second world war time, when the world was, uh, you know, going through uh, so much of disaster, that is the time when he uh, started uh, Honda Motor Company, okay. Now, if you haven't read his story, it's an amazing story of how he started, uh, you know, uh, his his company and he has he burned down you know so some of his uh, you know when his experiments uh, you know um, uh, so there was a big disaster as well you know his uh, you know sort of experiment room you know it's got all burned down as well but what a hero okay so Suichiro Honda he says that success is ninety nine percent failure okay so that means a lot of time if you are not willing to fail then we can never be successful because the success in any entrepreneurship journey starts with failure. Failures are the foundation from which you learn, you improvise. But if you do not learn, then there is no point of failure, you know. But as long as you are learning from every mistakes and you're improving, you are bound to be successful. There is no question about it because you are in the game, all right? With that, I am done. Hopefully it made some sense to you. And let me know what is your thought on, uh, on the uh, failure and uh, you know, what, what has been uh, your experiences, okay? Do you, are you afraid of failing or you welcome failures, okay? So with that, I am done. And uh, until next one, over and out.